It's your boy LP in the building. KC. Jose Don. Why you can't have like a simple man? Because I'm not Everybody a simple man. Everybody got two levels. I'm not a simple man. Everybody got two levels. You the only one well, got a whole set. What's A what? It's J. AJ? That's cool, man. No, no, no. How you got it's AJ Jose, Jose does? No, exactly. You confusing the people. No, I'm talking about your last name. We gonna have we gonna have man, a whole talking- another episode about the origins of my origins. I don't care. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> we gonna do that. My it's gonna be like Batman and Spider Man. So where does Jose come from? Because Jose sounds like some cheap. I had, I had some I had some uh a, a good life. It. I had a good you life. I had a good life. You know what I'm saying? And you somebody you said, and then, though. and then you know, for for you haters out there, I'm golden. I'm not light skinned. You can be too if you let yourself shine. Preach. Uh, and you know, Jose Gold is gold. You know what I'm saying? And I had you know a relationship with that, but I let it go. You know, Jose Gold is gold. Jose Jose Cuervo Gold. Yeah. Yeah. So that's a drink. That was your drink of choice at that time. And that's what you. And then somebody said, you know what? You should be called Jose. I was like, you know what? Let me put the gun at the end of it because you know it's just. John Dada. Two different tequilas. Top shot of called the shots. Jose Dunn. So basically what you're saying is Jose Dunn came from like an alcohol. Mm-hmm. Wow. It came out it came out the it came out the ether. Why are you spelled that way? Today's topic is double <laughs> standards. <laughs> Cause I won't yeah. it's a free country. <laughs> you won't? Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Hey man, but yeah, this is another episode of BMT Black Men Talk. Today's episode we will be discussing double standards. Yes, 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 yes. Double standards, man. Uh, there is a major thing in society uh, today, especially today, more than anything, because of um, the fact that you have so many different views on relationships and other situations mm-hmm. that have double standards. Uh, we're going to dive straight into it. The first... Um, the first topic is mama's boys versus daddy's girls. Hmm. Uh, a lot of women say that they hate uh, mama's boys because they feel like a, a, a guy can't do anything without his, his mom's approval mm-hmm. or consent. And then you already have that superstition that uh, a man goes out and finds a woman that reminds him of his mom, which I feel like that's freaky as shit because I don't want no woman that reminds me of my mama Michelle. Shout out to my mama. <laughs> but I don't want no woman that I, you know what I'm saying, I, I talked to and then she showed displays of my mom. Now, it's certain traits like if she has a nurturing side. Certain where, attributes. Yeah, if she, she, yeah, if she has yeah. like a nurturing side to the point where like I see how she nurtures me, how my mom nurtures my pop. Then I could be like, okay, I want that same love because right. my folks been married. For like 25, 26 years now, so I can see, you know what I'm saying, mm-hmm. that type of situation. But I don't I call my mom every day to talk to her, but every decision I make is not based off of oh, let me call my mom, especially yeah. in a relationship. Yeah. Right. But I also feel like it's different levels to mama's boys. You got a mama's boy that, like I said, does like me. I gotta call and talk to my mama every day. If I don't call her, she calls me. Mm-hmm. Because yeah. that's that's just the relationship, that's y'all, relationship have. y'all got. But it's not to the point where if I have some type of problematic situation, I can't call, I can't resolve it without my mama stepping in and being like, "Well, baby, I feel like this is what you should do." Especially with a woman, like mm-hmm. I am not gonna call you and be like, "Well, me and such and such Jay got into it, Ma, how you think this should go?" Because whatever you say, I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna just let her have it. You feel me? But. Mm-hmm. It's not on that type of time, but women, I've heard a lot of women say, oh, well, my dad displayed this, that, and the third. Like, my dad showed me how a man should be, which is cool. Because mm-hmm. if I have a daughter, you know what I'm saying, the way I'm going to raise my daughter, I'm going to show her that you're supposed to be treated like a queen. Right. As a child, you're a princess. But once you evolve into a woman, you are now a queen. And the way the man treats you, if he doesn't, if he treats you less than how I raised you, and I have to continue to step in and be that man in your life, then that's a problem. Then that's that's a problem. problem. So that don't necessarily make you a daddy's girl. That's just showing your worth. Cause I don't want no, I don't want no dude to be in my daughter's life that ain't worth. 
Right. And then I got to, and, right? and then I got to, and look, <laughs> and then you got to be a granddaddy daddy all over again. Yeah. Right? <laughs> hey. Not only am I taking care of my daughter, but now I'm taking care of a nigga because I don't even know. Like, yeah, yeah you want to be a rock star, you want to be a rock star. And you can be a rock star and be the only place as you said, yo, see um, these is in front of Winston. Yeah, making you it right. Exactly. Making mm-hmm. our parents, grandparents, when, and parents again. That's not cool, man. Yeah. It's not cool. Uh, Grandma Lord said, "You love when your mom give great advice." But I ain't finna just involve her in everything. Right. Hey, right. Granny. Uh, well, shout, out to, shout out to Granny. Shout out to Morgan Brook Johnson. Hey, man. Um, <laughs> hey, Danny. Danny. Morgan, Danny, yeah. Morgan, how you doing? Up what you just said, you know what I'm saying? Uh, about the advice in a relationship, it's fine to have other opinions, but the final decision between the two is relationship. I disagree with that. Why is that? Because in a relationship, that that brings a lot of problems into the fold as well. And that's where I feel like that causes problems. Keep my folks, my mom and pops, nobody outside of that household will ever know what goes on unless somebody inside says something right. outside. Yeah. Yeah. But we all we all done, done it though. Like we all call someone and be like, hey bro, but, this is what I'm going through. I need some help or I need a vent, whatever it is like yeah. that. No matter, no matter, even if it's a direct decision or direct, you know what I'm saying, result or what, what you should do, it's going to take you something. Yeah, yeah. but I I'm not remember, saying take the decision and do it. No, but see, that's the problem because you have some folks that don't know how to balance it out. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, if, if me and my lady got a problem and the first thing I do is call you up and be like, man, Karan, she tripping, blah, blah, blah. Like, she said this and I said that, and I feel like I'm right. And then if you vouch for me, and then we come back to the phone and me and her have another conversation. When I call her to run, that thing said that. That is your problem. That is your problem. I'm not going to be like, hey, I call Lamar. He said I should do this. Here's no. the thing. No, 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 exactly. And, and here's the thing. You can get advice from anywhere. It's how you take it hey, and Paula. how you proceed with that with that hey, information too. Hey, uh, hey, the women is in the building. Know, right? Shout out ladies. to Shamika. Shout out to Jazz. Shout out to Paula. My boy, but but just like we said, just like we said last last time, you can communicate, but like you said, comprehension. And you got to comprehend with all this advice you're getting. You mm-hmm. Take your pros and your cons. You take it and and just like that, you leave it with yourself. Right. Just like you really shouldn't have, you know. I guess involve others in your relationship. That's your business. But since right. you already did that, mm-hmm. don't bring them niggas back in. Yeah. Don't bring all that yeah, back in because all, if all you put that back in, then what they go, she gonna be like, well, what the fuck you doing talking to that? Right. And which is she is right. They, they are right. Here she is that, right. You, you telling them that you told me something? That's on you. Yeah, yeah that's true. So, Leave me out of here. <laughs> yeah. Which one do you think is worse? A mama's boy or dad's girl? Mama's boy. Mama's boy. Yeah. Mama's boy. Yeah. Mama's boy. Yeah. Mama's boy. Yeah. Yeah. Mama's boy. Yeah. 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 Mama's boy. Yeah. 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 I think they can be both be equally worse, but but the thing about it is when you talk about mama's boy, that's where you get to like how mama boy are you? Mm. That's why I said you can be like like, are we are we still on the titty mama Mm. uh, boy or we just I I go to eat at my mama house here, son? (laughs) Right, you know what I'm saying? This this this, and daddy's girl would be like you know really a brat or is you just respectful of myself and my father's opinion? <laughs> <laughs> you can hear I'm learning. See, I'm learning. But Derek Cromer said it's equally horrible. Both of them. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like I said, yeah. it's levels because I don't mind you. I don't mind any woman, you know what I'm saying, being appreciative and catering to her daddy for now, every now and again. But if it's to the point where hell, you with your dad more than you with me. Yeah, you might well go with your dad. Man. Yeah, like right, the fuck? who is you? Who is you trying to be in a relationship? Me or your dad? Like, like and I see friend? so. I see and then so where your mom at? <laughs> I was just about to say that's that's some uh, what's it? Mama princesses, what you want to call it too? Now yeah. some yeah. some women ain't got their dad in life, so their mom took on both roles Ooh. and to the point yeah. where. They literally physically need their mom, the mom every day. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Something to say yeah. That's their best time. friend, yeah. confidant. And which I, you know, I can't judge that at all I because it's. I mean, this is what it is. That's the hands that we dealt. You know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. I rather I rather your mom be there for you and not be there right. for you. Mm-hmm. I, I would say, as parents, you're supposed to play your role because if your child steps in and your child says, "Oh, um, you know, what I'm saying I'm having this problem." I feel like as a parent, you should tell them to, you know, 
try to be biased towards the situation, all right? Tell them, okay, there's something that you and your man need to handle. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like there's something you and that, your man need mm-hmm. to handle. Yeah, what up, Derek? What it do, man? But um, honestly, I just I don't I don't know. Cause I, I've been called a mama's boy, and, and it, it hurts me because I know that I'm not a mama's boy. Right. Like, and my mama can, you know what I'm saying? Like, my mama knows. Like, I don't never involve her in my relationship. Mm-hmm. The only way she'll find out there's something going on is if the woman I'm dealing with says something or something transpires in front of her in right. her presence. Otherwise, mm-hmm. by the time she finds out any type of problem, we'll be the result. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But like, I just can't because. I don't want to have to have that talk with my mom. Mm, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, well, so how you think this guy? Like, no, we ain't doing it. Yeah, right. we ain't we, even we diving ain't into that, right. that no, pool right there. I know. I, I try to avoid that label of you know being a mama boy to as much as I can. You know, I say I try to be my own man. You know, I don't go try to go to my mom for the advice or things like that. But if I'm in, you know, what I'm saying out even outside of relationship, if I'm in a you know a situation where I act. Actually, need her, you know, I'm gonna have to call, you know, it is what it is. I ain't gonna lie to you. It could be my mama, my daddy, my grandmama, somebody who's been there, my mentor, or whatever. If you got good advice and I'm asking you, that's what I'm asking them. Right. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? What I do with it is my business. Right. You know what I'm saying? I do get what you're saying as far as mama, boy, and daddy's girl. You know what I'm saying? At the same time, you don't go overboard with it because as far as the United States go and everybody else, 18, you grown. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But 21, you, you can drink and everything else. So do that and, and get out that nest. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But I do get you saying with the, you need that. Sometimes you need that. They mama or their father is that trusting last. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, sprinkle on the cake or whatever you want to call it. Or the sprinkle on the ice cream to just set it straight. But you know I, think you, I think you said something else too. And that's why I said it's levels to it. I think there's a difference between a mama's boy and a titty boy. Like, yeah. mm-hmm. I think if you, when I say you on your mama titty, like, you real deal, like, you wake <laughs> up and every decision you make, you're not talking to your partner, you're talking Talk to, to your, your mama. mama. Mm-hmm. And your partner is getting the back end of the conversation after the fact. Exactly. And <laughs> so now, not only have you came to your partner with your opinion, you done came to your partner with your opinion and your mama opinion and vice versa. Not only has the woman came to the phone with her opinion, she had changed to the phone with her opinion right. and her dad or her mama's opinion. And it's like with certain women, women have once they say something, like they are adamant. Like yeah, once my folks approve of it, that's it. That's it. Mm-hmm. That's yeah, it. Like, and it's like you think like say, you ain't got no mind of your yeah, own. Right. Like, like what if you couldn't? Say. What if they told you to figure it out yourself? What right. would you do then? Well, hold on. What's what's you mean to say? Right there, yeah, it's a big difference. Different. Um, another thing though, like with that, you have to put yourself back into your relationship. You have to know your, 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 who your partner is. You know, mm-hmm. that, whatever I got, advice I got from my mom, my dad, whoever I got it from, I have to put it, I have to use it, you know what I'm saying? Think about it as if I'm talking to my partner. I have to adjust it to where it's like, okay, my partner will feel that way if I said it, said it exactly that way. Or, or if I said that exact thing, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. and it doesn't, sometimes it doesn't even go nowhere what they advice you to even say it. So, 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 since we talking about advice and everything, let's go ahead and deep dive deep into this then. Since we talking about that, and, and I know it's the elephant in the room, one of the elephants. So, double standards. We talking mm-hmm. about advice. One of the main things that come up is either cheating or money. Or just money, finances. Right. So, people go ask their mamas or daddies about this financial decision, this financial decision, or either, or either at the end of the day, finances is one of those double standard things as well because, okay, I, I say this, it's a double standard for this because a long time ago, I used to work at the mall, right? Mm-hmm. I could work anywhere in that mall except for that uh, paternity store. Not saying I wanted to, but if I wanted to, what makes me not be able to work in that store? Now, if I was working at a, a male store or something like that and a woman came in there, I would, she would have to work there. If not, that would be sexist or a hate crime. Mm-hmm. I get what you're saying. Is, is that like, not the same? That's a double standard. Kind of like a Victoria's Secret. You was no yeah, guy exactly. It's there. a double standard. And if or, they is, they probably... You know what I'm saying? Right. Or, 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 or Claire, only reason I'm saying this is because, you know, no, no, there's no problem with no job or nothing, but I should be able to, male or female, should be able to do whatever mm-hmm. job there is. There's a, um, a barber I got now, a recent barber. She's a female. She didn't talk about how 
It took her so long just to even get a seat for folks and blah, blah, blah. That's thinking that could, exactly. Mm-hmm. Thinking she can cut no hair. Mm-hmm. But she can cut better than half the dudes in there. Right. You feel me? It's you all about, it. you know, people who have this day and age, bro. They have, this day and age has broken the barrier of gender role. There's certain, there's certain jobs that you feel like only a man should work. And that's not true. Because if I go to a mechanic shop and I'm trying to get my car worked on, First thing I do is see a woman come around in a jumpsuit with oil all over her. What's the what's the first mind you gonna have? She don't know shit about color right. because she's what a female. Mm, but yep. obviously, she knows something. They got her up in there with some tins with no tree on the end because <laughs> she done worked them trees off inside the tin. This must be working. Word. They be like, doing she shit. Work. Thing. And mm-hmm. she telling you shit about your car that you, you don't even know, know about. about. Because one thing about fellas, and I hate to say it, how we learn shit is when she break down. Down, mm-hmm. exactly. So, that, so if she coming at you and she telling you off out the gate what's wrong with your car before it broke down, she telling you some more shit to look at before that breaks mm-hmm. down, right. that means clearly she knows you know what she's she talking, talking about. about. Mm-hmm. But it's all about that, that uh, it's almost kind of like you institutionalized to whatever was embedded in you as exactly. a child. Right. Exactly. And that, that goes along with cartoons and everything. Let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. And I'm going to ask the viewers this. Mm-hmm. Answer this question. Before I say the gender, this person has every qualification in the whole world. They're certified, everything. The best person you could possibly do this in the world to have these. He has all the answers. He runs a daycare. It's a man. He runs daycares. But you gotta be. You bringing your kids? You bring your kids to a man, a, a daycare that ran by a man. You gotta be careful. I can't fuck that up. Yeah, I'm just being <laughs> hey, real with you. Hey, hey, like, hey. That's real stuff. That's some real shit, though, right? I, I know, but R. Kelly has because. But who's to say? But how many times have you seen daycares women throwing and beating up kids and slaying them across the room and everything? Facts, but how quick will you let a man Double watch standards. your child? Before you let your uh, a woman watch your child. Guess what? You would if it's if you uh, drop them off at your daddy house, your granddad, or uncle, or whatever, or your brother. If you looking for a babysitter. Yeah, you're right. If you you're post right. on Facebook and you looking for a babysitter, right. and you the first thing you see is a dude you scroll. Hell, a, hell no. Nah. <laughs> oh a, hell no. Nah. A <laughs> nigga named Tyler. And Tyler puts all of his qualifications, the best one out of all of them, certifications, all of that. He put his whole resume on the thing. And you look at Tyler and be like, "That's a whole nigga that's on here talking about watching my child." <laughs> and next up, you see a woman that ain't even got her life in there, but you go to her just because she's a just female. female. Mm-hmm. But like I said, jokingly, but I was serious. I tell him messed up because you gotta be careful. But then. Hey, look at Antoine Fisher. A woman will touch your ass too. Nigga, look at Precious. <laughs> her mama did that to her. Hey, exactly. <laughs> but, exactly. But, she look at good Harry times. Tyler. Huh? Paula, she said she uh, hiring Tyler. She hi- exactly. She hiring Tyler. But like I said. I'm just saying. Like, there's a double standard. It mm-hmm. is. It's a double standard. But I ain't got no kids. But if I had kids. <laughs> Tyler ain't watching your kids. Tyler ain't watching my dog. <laughs> that nigga might watch my dog. He <laughs> may hey, watch my Tyler, dog. Tyler gonna he'll watch, watch my, my dog. Tyler gonna watch my, yeah, he'll watch my, he'll car, watch my car. Or he'll watch my Outside Netflix only. account, but he ain't watching my kids. Outside only. Yeah, no. No, Tyler's not watching my kids. But I will say this. You just expect the woman to have a nurturing spirit. Exactly. Understood. Mm-hmm. Understood. Exactly. But why do you expect that? You expect that because of woman, but at the same time, there are fathers out here. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So you saying the father's not taking care of their kids and that, you know what I'm saying? And then, but then you also- and then, I understand, you know, what you're saying. I'm not disagreeing yeah, with yeah. the woman being there at all, but yeah. that's just like me, shit. I got two kids. Mm-hmm. I, you got a son and a girl. You feel me? Mm-hmm. What, 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 I'm, I'm, what I'm slapping my my kids around? Hell no, we just so, went to Shindig. I spent, hundred, you know, some money, you know what I'm so, saying? So but we, besides well, that, I- you feel me? <laughs> jump off shoes, drop all oh, yeah. that. But check it though. It's 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 My more than that. Yeah. It's more than that. I teach them. I, I tell them. You know, I'm there all the time, regardless of what the situation. Because that those are my children. Right. right. Period. I'm gonna do that. I don't care what nobody else do. Now you said something about nurturing. So uh, I feel like a thing with nurturing is different because how we grew up. 
might be different from how these kids grow up. And I tell people all the time, there's a different generation behind this. Oh, yeah. We have to oh, do yeah. it more mentally and physically than these children behind this. And this generation can't take half of the shit we went through. And for one, that causes a lot of trauma now for us as adults because if a and it's it's a it's a different it's a double standard. If a girl falls when she's a child, if a girl falls and scrapes the shit out of her leg mm-hmm. or her arm, as a man or as a parent in general, you gonna go and you gonna grab that little girl and you gonna hold her tight mm-hmm. oh, until man. she get oh, all of it, oh, until, <laughs> yeah, until she get oh, all of that crying mm-hmm. out of her system. Mm-hmm. You bought a whole pony and everything. Well, you know the double standard. <laughs> if it's a boy. And that nigga fall in the same hole she fell in. Mm-hmm. Scratch the same parts on his body that she did. The first, got a thing, the, the first thing that is going to be said, get your stupid ass up. Suck it up. And suck, suck it up. up. And stop all that damn crying. And stop being a girl. And stop, stop being, being a girl. girl. Yeah. Stop being a punk. And so yeah. at that point, it's like, damn, he doesn't have the the mentality to differentiate what you just said exactly in his mind every time time i cry whatever punk shit bitch shit i can't do it i can't no emotions no more <laughs> yeah so it's like so it's like where do where does that stop because yeah, yeah. you have parents that like i said this generation is very vocal behind us this generation is very vocal yeah they are able to express themselves more where even us as adults in our generation are still to this day trying to still express ourselves because of how we was raised. Right. Yeah. Most men can't express themselves because we were told that uh, hurt and pain and crying was a sign of weakness. So yeah. now, even as adults, when we deal with our women or our significant others, or even our children, we're not finna cry in front of them because Hell they're showing no. exactly. a, a sign of weakness. weakness. Mm-hmm. So it's like, that's a double standard because yeah. I feel like you have to tell your daughter to get her stupid ass up to stop crying. But you, if you don't tell if your she son, do some and, goof ass shit, I'ma tell her to get her goof ass. <laughs> But still, you know what I'm saying? Like, like I said, you got a boy yeah. and a girl. So yeah. if they both go fall in the same damn hole, and you, but the girl fall first, and you grab her, and then they come right behind her, and yeah. she fall in the same shit. But he wasn't out there when she fell. Yeah. But he fall in that same damn hole. Because if he was out there when she fell, he would be. Yeah. Now, 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 <laughs> get your goof ass up, and you just saw your sister fall in the same in that damn hole. hole. Now, now, I, I get understand that. that. But. If he wasn't out there, he came out there, you done brought her in. And he go out there, he bust his ass too. Are right, you gonna have that same treatment or you still gonna be irritated? You gonna be irritated. Maybe because of the thing. In the evidence, you saw her in her legs, so that should have computed, nigga. No, it, it ain't. No, hell no. Because she could have got jumped by some alley cats. Right. So he don't know what the hell happened. He just but I get child. It. I get yeah. it. Yeah, so it's I like, we have to be careful with the double standards, bro. Like, even with raising our children, like I say, it's certain gender roles that people have instilled in their mind that certain men or certain women don't supposed to do. But what makes a difference in the man watching the child? Okay, so boom, college courses. Why the hell should a man be in, in women's study if he's not a woman? Because men are interested in learning in depth about a woman. Mm-hmm. But if a nigga walk in and you got a whole room full of women talking about women's studies, yeah, they gonna look at you crazy. They gonna look at your ass stupid. Yeah. But it's going to later on, it's gonna be beneficial because when you have a conversation with your lady and she got shit going on internally, exactly. and you will learn, yeah, you go and pull out your damn chapter book right. from yeah. chapter nine, talking about areolas and <laughs> you know, all that other stuff. And she looking at you shocked because she can't believe you know parts of her body that a normal man don't supposed to know. Exactly. By the way, side note, Ariola boy is the first thing I learned. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, but hey, look though, no, it's and you right though too, and yeah. it's a double side to that too. So check yeah. it. Let's say you do got a woman and she goes to something that's it's all men like a girl. Exactly. Yeah. All right, so say you got a you got a woman and she's in the garage, she's working, that's what she wanna do, da 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 da. But everything is 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 equal. Mm-hmm. You want everything is equal. And it goes for the guy who's OBJ O B G Y N. Mm-hmm. I almost fucked it up. But, and, and you know, or whatever, what have you, with the daycare, whatever. Now, here's the thing. Once you got that and you chose to do that now, right? You said, you said, oh, yeah. 
But look, I put double standards right. They both in their place. Uh -huh. Now don't. Now here's my thing. This ain't got nothing. This got something to do with double standards. But here's my thing. If you chose your ass, better not start tripping when you get it, my nigga. Like don't get up there and be like, oh well, you're just doing this because I'm a man. You doing it now? Or uh, doing this because I'm a woman? No, you doing this because it's your job. Right. Now would you be offended if your woman went to the OBGYN and she was an OBGYN with a man? If he's certified, no. That's what he does. She's vaginas all day. Yep. And here's the thing. You can go on the internet and see vaginas all day. So that ain't nothing. <laughs> For free. For free, so. Shout out to Dr. Smith. But it, ain't your, but it ain't your woman, though. That you're going on true. online for free. True. Like, I this is a woman it. that you see every day. If this man is certified, you done went through all the rigmarole and everything, and she trusts this man, because she going to have to trust this man, uh -huh. yeah, then boom, you can do it. So we're talking about OBGYNs. Let's talk about prostate. Now, you know, when you get a certain age, you got to I don't want nobody thinking my booty. Yeah. <laughs> so, big fat. Big fat. So, First of all, don't want no person's no, fingers in my booty. Don't want no person's fingers in my booty. But, oh, you know, when it get right, <laughs> when it get really? to your prostate, you would you rather that. go in and be comfortable with a woman doing something versus a man? Bro, at that point, a robot, because I don't even. <laughs> right. A robot gonna kill your ass, like, because they ain't gonna know how far to go, or uh, they just gonna be stencils in your ass, like. It's gonna be cold from the middle. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Might as well be like, I don't want, like, I don't really care at that point, because it's like, bro, get this over me. So you want, I can go and turn it off, because it's your butt. So you want, like, like, you want, we ain't gonna feel the family. <laughs> we got the family to do Soon, Hey, look, as soon as you hear that glove snap, you go, yeah. oh my God. <laughs> what did he say? You so funny, orgasm, OGBYN. Sound like you. <laughs> I'm telling you, but it, it, that's all, folks. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, that's that's crazy. So you just gotta keep in mind about this is so many double standards. But that's just like when cheating. You said something about cheating. Mm -hmm. Okay, so <laughs> double standards. <laughs> When the, who said do? Do. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, look, we had to hurry up and move away from the dude. Like, oh, Booty meat, like, no. Yeah, Duke Tiffin and I had to move away from the dude. Yeah, hell no. You are not taking it. Tank did more than Duke Tiffin. Tank did more than Duke Tiffin. Tank did more than Duke Tiffin. That's why his vocal group. Trick that, all y'all did. And Trick that blew up like he had several. Now he had a whole bunch of dudes. That wasn't Trick ass. No, he got a creator. Oh, yeah, he's been sick. Yo, do what you say, you say you want that shit. 50 Cent, 50 Cent did too, but he let them pay apologies. But hey, that ain't, that's enough. I'm like, exactly. I ain't even yeah. get on Bill McCoy. I'm about to move. Say that there. I don't know how we got back to the Bill McCoy. Hey, right on time to them, he said, Duke. Hey, shout out to Paula. This shit is gold. Duke. Duke. Uh, I know. But she did have a serious question. When is it okay for uh, men or boys to cry? Ooh. Whenever they want to. Facts. Who said that? Who asked that? Paula said it earlier. Whenever, Whenever they, they want to. When we were talking about the cry. Because okay. look, aren't they human beings? Ain't, don't you have the right to have emotions? Yep. But at that point, it should be the woman's perspective to allow that man, because at that point, that man is, is being vulnerable. It shouldn't be a conversation after I express myself to you. Oh, it's, yeah, it shouldn't be a com it could be a conversation, but it shouldn't be a conversation to where you're throwing back that moment in my face. Right. Exactly. As though it was wrong. Because once exactly. you let me know it's okay to cry, and then we get into an argument later on down the road, and I'm hearing about you calling me a pussy because I was crying on your mm -hmm. shoulder. Exactly. Now I'm ready to get five minutes with some soccer boxes outside. Because exactly. I ain't gonna hit you exactly. with my fist, but oh, exactly. nigga, I'm ready to knock you out. You weren't saying that when you were licking Duke. <laughs> 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 but no, like for real, like you you got to be careful. I think we spoke about this last week, the week before last, because you got to be careful how you open up with certain people because everybody exactly. is not exactly. out there to to really listen to you and, and actually console you in a certain manner. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's also something that's said where it's the difference between praying for people, P-R-A-Y, versus praying mm -hmm. on people, mm -hmm. P-R-E-Y. Yeah. People will say that they pray for you. But in reality, they are praying yeah, on you. you. They're praying on your emotions. They're praying yeah. on your downfall. They're praying for all of that shit to happen and transpire in your life for the wrong reasons. 
So when it comes down to men expressing themselves, I ask all the women that's viewing this, all the women that are tuning in and sharing this, allow your male to vent or express themselves because you never know what type of background they came from. And it not, might not even be background. It might just be past relationships where Ooh. most of the women expected them to, to not show up. And you home. always talking about open up to me and all this stuff. That's him opening up. Yeah, and when that's him does, giving you what that. you, exactly, that's yeah. him with giving you what you want. Yeah. Uh, Shmiga said, sometimes though, it's me out here be fake crying just to manipulate you. But see, ain't no, ain't no me. I, I, I can't speak for any man. Exactly. But although y'all my partners, I can't even speak for y'all. But for me, I'm not gonna fake cry. Hell first no. Of all, first of all, once, and I'm very vocal, you know what I'm saying? I'm a comedian, but even before I was a comedian, I'm always outgoing and never, I'm very expressive. Mm -hmm. So when I come out and I vent to you, and it takes a lot for me to cry because my grandma showed me, like, whenever my grandma would cry, she would step away or she would turn her back. So it was never a point where I was denied my emotions, yeah. but I watched how my grandma operated. My grandma never showed me that she cried. So me personally, I have trust issues because it's like, when I have had those moments of vulnerability where I cried in front of women, that shit will show up back in my face. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, they ain't go to this string like, oh, you pussy, blah, blah, blah. But they made me feel like, nigga, I shouldn't have never opened up to you. Yeah. And even now, I'm, this is my day. This is some recent shit. Yeah. Like, I wouldn't, in my mind now, I'm like, bro, I will never really completely express myself to a woman because I'm not trying to continue to deal with that woman that's going to sit there and be like, Oh, well, you remember you sat there, you boo hoo and you cried on my... No. Because at that point, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know, even want you in my life. You know life. what's so messed up, though, man? With that, I'll say this. I will. I can't say this. Hurt people hurt people, man. Right. So, even though right. they did it the wrong way, you know what I'm saying? Even though they did it the wrong way, they only doing that because they can't do that. They can't express themselves. Nobody listen to them. They got whatever, whatever. And there's nothing, and you should, and I'm not saying you have the the, the right to do that. Because I, I always ask people, I, I, I always that. ask people like, if something was happened to you as a child or a youth that was bad, right. you know what I'm saying? Let's station what happened. Are you gonna grow up and do that to another person because it was done to you? If you was molested, are you gonna grow up and molest somebody? And I know it could be, you know, mind changes to some people and everything, but in your right mind, does that does that make it right? You know what I'm saying? No. And I yeah. think I, I won't say it was Shamika that spoke on this like two two episodes ago when when it was Shamika Kimberly that spoke on it and talked about trauma bonding. Some people find love and trauma. Mm -hmm. Because if they both have comparison to their trauma lifestyle and you can relate to my trauma then it's almost like this is where we find love, which is weird. Because y'all yeah. compare, and that's another situation. They can't do bad by themselves. Yeah, <laughs> but that's another situation. Like you have an argument with women about who trauma was worse. Mm -hmm. It's almost like the woman to be like, well, I got raped. And then the nigga turn around and be like, well, I got molested. And then she, in her point of view, she got raped me and somebody violated her and you know, they yeah. really went through the whole process. Yeah. And then once you go into detail as to how you got molested, whether it was just somebody touched your feet while they the time or whatever, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Blew in your ear, whatever. Yeah. But but it's going to be that comparison, like, right? yeah. well shit, that wasn't that, you know, bother to like like for real, like I don't know before. But uh, <laughs> yeah, it is. It's yeah, okay. It wasn't. It really wasn't that deep on your end versus my end. But it shouldn't be like that. Yeah. Trauma is trauma. trauma. Mm -hmm. exactly. Accept it. Y'all both find some type of healing and move forward. Oh, but right. don't ever delude somebody else's situation and make yours better mm -hmm. just so it can be your, your moment. Right, exactly. Because that's the biggest problem in a relationship, nigga. We are partners. Yep. It's called help makes for a reason. Yep. You help me, yep. I help you, bro. Mm -hmm. Like, it ain't no shit where it's like, oh, well, I'm going through it, and once I get over it, then we can reconcile and you can pat me on my exactly. back. Because, mm -hmm. nigga, well, if you ain't too with me in the gym when I miss, this go be in there when I make it. Like, exactly. like you not being there when I make it. Like, <clears throat> 
it's just like God. Please. Exactly. When you say like when you say it like over over saturated problems, like everybody trying to you know people problems. You never heard that little saying. Um, some man. Why is Paula still saying dude? Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> she got the second second dude on that bit. Uh, Morgan said a man showing his emotion to you showed you how much he actually cares and possibly loves you because most men think crying shows weakness. And it's sad. But why? Why so though? And then a lot of and then, a, and, then a, and, then a, and then a lot of women out here that have uh, kids have sons. Are you telling your son to to you know what I'm saying you can't express yourself, you can't do this, you can't do that? Like you know what I'm saying? Like everything you complain or say about a man or this or that, are you teaching your son this? Right. That's my question. And then how would you want somebody to treat your son? Mm. Which Just back, like, you know, or which, your daughter. Which goes back to the theory of they said most men go out there find a woman that reminds them of their love. I don't want it. I do not want to know the shit. It's not. Like actually, like a, a yeah, look mom, or yeah. a mirror image of it. It's just certain qualities that your mom had that you looking with another like woman. Yeah. Like you said earlier, nurturing. Yeah. Uh, maybe she cooks for you. You know what I'm saying? Little stuff like that. Or just like how Paula keeps typing dude, and your mom used to type dude <laughs> like that, and it just mind you. That's a play. That's a joke. Simply said, "Start at home." Right? That's, that's, at home. that's actually the last. My comical mind is going crazy. <laughs> Because what y'all doing is calling this is a call. This is what we call a callback. Mm -hmm. So y'all keep bringing that dude shit back. We keep yeah. trying. We well, yeah, but we keep trying to go from it. And it's always the light bulb. Episode over. three is called Dude. Yeah. <laughs> it's episode two. Your mama said Duke. And so now you're looking for Duke and women. Yeah, trauma fund and Duke. But uh <laughs> God, the, that's why y'all have a comedian on the podcast. Oh, always shit. Always going to be perfect. Oh, uh, shit. What, what is... Um, Chivalry and so, grace. Sex. Uh, sex. sex. Wait a minute. Hold on. We, we skipped one. We did... A lot of them. Yeah, <laughs> we, we did. Four. I just went there. Hold on. You know what I'm saying? Uh, what was... Oh, alpha males and alpha females. So, some of you women that are um, online right now that are tuning in, how many of you all are alpha females? And I'm going to ask that. How many of you guys consider yourself, even you eat, how many of y'all consider y'all say an alpha uh, male? I consider myself a sick. You a sick? Yeah. I find myself a couple of What the fuck? Niggas, <laughs> <laughs> boy, I tell you, man. Boy, y'all say, y'all a shit, man. Hey, man. Hey, Sigma's real, man. So, and you got any ST Rose in this? ST Rose. You got any IOs in this one? Oh, okay. We'll be proud of <laughs> Hold on, so Paula, you consider yourself an alpha, alpha female. He said I'm GD. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, on your ass, Joe said I'm GD. Boy, this is crazy. Crazy, boy. That man is crazy. Ralph, Ralph said that man said Kappa. And then he spelled it with a C. Boy, you better don't apply. Don't perpetrate the whole thing. Okay, so Paula, you, you married. So is your man an alpha male? And if so, how does that, how does that work? How, how does that balance out? Because two alphas in the household is very hard. Because both of y'all want to take the forefront. So somebody's going to have to take that back in. Unless you're doing some Mr. and Mrs. Smith sex type shit. No, some Mr. and Mrs. Jones type shit. Right. Look, y'all both shooting at each other in this bitch. Like, I said this. No, yeah. I said this. No. Like, I've been charged. I've been charged. Like, yeah. rabbit season, duck season. It's too, like, yeah. weird. Like, but typically, the man's supposed to be the leader. So, Shamika is an alpha, too. I'm, I don't know why they kind of made me feel some type of way. Like, it was kind of attractive, you know. <laughs> Oh shit, Alpha. <laughs> he said she's in the gym. She's shot now, guys. So me just said she's an Alpha. I don't like it, but I'm used to it from being single before. We are both fire signs, so we have developed a happy medium. A happy medium. Mm. But I feel like, for some reason, Paul, I feel like if okay, so I feel like if an Alpha male and an Alpha female are both in 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 a relationship. I feel like the woman is always the one that fire off versus the man. Like the man will stand his ground in certain situations, but it'll be the woman to step in and be like, hold on, bitch, that's my husband. So oh, yeah, it happened to like, Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, so with that. My man said no pimples. Yeah. <laughs> my man said no 
Are you see all these motherfuckers? You see? See, he ain't tripping. Throw that bitch in their face. Get this shit out of here. I know my man. He ain't tripping, but nigga, I'm here. Give me the motherfucker. We wanted to go to Popeyes anyway. Yeah. Ah, uh, cool. So what is alpha? What is alpha male? What is, I take that back. What is your perspective or your go on what a male is? And give me your perspective of what a woman is. The comics. Okay, gotcha. Okay. Um, I'm obviously pointing at the camera. I was wondering. Lord okay. <laughs> yeah. help us. Lord help us. Golden. Golden. I think it was. It was for me something I had to be because. It's, it's a survival, survival mode. mode. Were you single at the time? Were you? Yeah. Cause you said that Jamaica. like we was in the um jungle. Hold on. She said, I think it was for me something I had to for mm-hmm. me because it's survival mode. So that means that's something that she had to develop over time right. because mm-hmm. uh, if, if she was in survival <laughs> mode. Because any woman that considers herself less than an alpha female, it puts her in a situation where I've heard this, this is not my opinion, but I've heard that it puts a woman in a situation where she's um, very gullible and um, yeah, she she's, was yeah, like, well, single. Yeah, she said she was single. Yeah. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. So it's like, it puts you in a situation where you're very gullible, so that means you'll accept anything and anybody to be controlling, obsessive, and really just undermining and breaking you down mentally, right. physically. You know what I'm saying? So I can understand that, but then at the same time, how do you look at a situation when you have an alpha female, but you're not the alpha male? So how does that work? Because it's gonna be times where it's gonna be an emasculate type of form where when she tell you to shut the hell up, especially if you in front of your boy, if any one of y'all niggas have an alpha female and she tell y'all to shut the fuck up and y'all shut the fuck up, hey. boy. Oh, wait, exactly. wait a minute. Wait a minute. Like, time out. Like, but, like, like, I'm going to go just me like and Morgan, we class all the time. Nuts, I know. <laughs> I've always been raised to be the leader, the provider of my household, whatever like that. And now yeah. that she's living with me, whatever like mm-hmm. that, there's a certain way that, you know what I'm saying, she wants to be the alpha female. She wants to be independent. And I'm like, no, you don't have to be that person for him. Yeah, you know. You know but that, that but that just comes with the talent. You right. know what I'm saying? Like, alpha for me, I, when they know the role and they carry the weight of the role, I don't use those terms though. Okay, so some I, some females, and I've heard this as well, some females have stated that when the only way that they will step back from that role is if the man is able to step forward and take complete control of mm-hmm. everything, which goes into uh, the it finances. Does, uh, yeah, in the, the finances finance situation. Thing. And, 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 and the thing about it, to be an alpha doesn't necessarily mean you're charging and, 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 and but look, the alpha male, I mean, does okay, let me ask this. Does the alpha male necessarily mean when you're the alpha male or female, does that mean, hey, translate to I do, you do what I say, I grab you, I'm the master. No. You, you know what I'm saying? But that, are, that how it is is portrayed. That, that's you don't how have to you don't have to be an alpha male and be all because look, if you're alpha, you're a boss. You say it one time, you say what it, it is, and that's, that's it. it. And it gets done. She can say what she wanna say. But once you speak, and your voice is like earth shattering. Exactly. I like, yo, exactly. all right, okay, I hear you. <laughs> right. Bow. Calm your head down. Bow. Like, yeah, like. Oh, they dropping in. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> so, yeah. Hit a nerve, so, didn't it? That, that's how it is with, with me and Morgan. What you, pretty much what you just said, what Paula just said. Okay, Paula said, he's a physical worker. He literally brings home the bread. And I budget and work the household. He comes home to the lights, board, the Wi-Fi, etc. If he says I can't go out tonight, I don't go most of the time. I know that I can do what I want, but it's the vows that I subject myself to. Real cool. So okay. is that him being alpha, or is that being you being your in your vows and being a good wife and being having that good understanding of the relationship? You get what I'm saying? But she's also already said she's an alpha female herself. So it, it, them did. being together, it clashes, but it, it doesn't have to clash. But that necessarily doesn't mean that, that the alpha, well, they just, just have an understanding. You know what I'm saying? And then Kim said, there's always a balance. Only one wolf leads the pack, but everyone knows their role and respect. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's the energy that will make me shut up. Ooh. 
Hey, nah. <laughs> Put that foot down. Uh, uh. My foot don't reach the ground unless I'm on the edge of my shelf, but I can make it happen. Put that big toe down. That big toe is down. And alpha don't mean slap shit. nobody. Yeah. Like that. It's respectful of your relationship. Thank yes, you. it is, man. Thank you. Right. Most folks be out here. Shut your. No, it's, <laughs> it's not alpha. This is you're you're. A, a, <laughs> <laughs> you need to keep your hands to yourself. You not tell you. <laughs> Don't Will Smith nobody. Hey, I Chris for, Rock and Will Smith nobody. But I hate for a woman. Right. Yeah, what happened? Uh, follow. That's me knowing that I'm an alpha, but I'm willing to share my role as long as he does what is needed for the family. Exactly. So let me yeah. ask this question. Yeah. So if he's he not, part, he so if he's not, because basically she kind of said that he's the breadwinner. So he brings on the bread, mm -hmm. I balance it out. So if the man is not able to bring, oh, the Dutch part. Hmm. This goes into the finances. Let's go Dutch. So, if y'all split the bills half down the middle, everything is split down the middle, 50 50, does he still have that access to do what he does? Mm. Woo! There mm. we go. Mm. Now we're talking. If he don't look, look, look. Hey, look. That's the message. Now they're going to be like, what like, 50, 50 50 you talking about? Yeah. <laughs> 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 Hey, oh, man. it's hot in there. I feel like a hash brown on the grill. That dog, boy, I'm telling you. <laughs> well, yeah, that's a good point. Uh, if he don't, I won't. So if he ain't got it, I ain't got it. If she ain't got it, I got it. I so sure. if he don't, I won't. Okay, so if he doesn't have the full, like, if he does, if he's not able to take on full responsibilities of, like, bringing home the bread, then he doesn't have the same access and authority that he would have. But what if what? But what if he's what if he's doing go, working his way up there? Oh, okay. She said yes, she does. If this agree. agreement, okay. And do you agree? So I all women though. Exactly. Do y'all agree? But I'm asking all the women because it's just more than father here. Exactly. Like, like if I'm going 50-50 with a man, I do that. I want. Yeah, yeah. We've seen we've seen podcasts and clips on the. I ain't seen the podcast. I y'all seen relationships, bro. If he ain't. But doing everything, you better not tell me shit. Like, yeah, right. yeah like that's not. I don't want to be being lazy. That's a good, that's a good point. Okay, yeah. that is a good point. Yeah. But it's, it's some, some she's out here that's so lazy too, though. Walk my house, do the fuck you want to do. If you wake up and do nothing, they'll tell that. She ain't, I don't think she got a paper paper. Uh, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> but that's what that just, that just goes back to being the submissive <laughs> thing. Like, I, there are some women that refuse to be submissive if the man doesn't is not able to take on all of the finance. Which goes back to, you know what I'm saying, like the modern day. You know, we talked about modern day versus the traditional way. Traditional back in the day, the woman was the, the housewife mm -hmm. and the man went out in the field, did all that he's supposed to do. When he came home, house supposed to be clean, bad was supposed to be ran, Kids supposed to be, you know, but at the same to, time, though, no, all that fun at the house, everything, he better he provide. Yeah, but that, but now it's like back then that was okay. Yeah, that's why all these seventy and eighty year old folks got seven and eight kids. Cause yeah, nigga, the man was out there working. Once yeah. he came home, them nuts and dropped. <laughs> <laughs> he ready? Yeah, he, he ready to release some of that stress yes, from working all day. And you know what I'm saying? You live at home, you in cook, you in clean, you know what I'm saying? You walk around with your little apron on and, and mm -hmm. let go. Right, let's 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 get down to business. Mm -hmm. But now it's different because like I said, you have some women that are making more money than men. Yeah. So does yeah. that put them in the fall of authority? Reverse that. I like to, I like about, to, but yeah. then also, if you go back I've been in one with a woman that made more than me. She was in a management role. I couldn't control that. That wasn't on me. Um, she made more than I did, but when it came down to bills, I, I still paid majority of it. She did. Hey, Paula, you 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 on fire tonight. I'll tell you yeah, that. You on fire tonight. You, 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 you. Yo, family the same. See, I've been that female before. Like you, no, nah, bro. You ain't my daddy. You right. don't tell me what to do, dude. I brought that to. I brought the table. table. I brought to the table. table. <laughs> well, <laughs> but now I'm ready to sell up, though. Okay, but so let me ask you this: because you have a lot of women that are in a relationship, <laughs> you, you have a lot of women. <laughs> 
shoot, shoot. Black men talk. Let's go. Black men talk. Uh, but you have a lot of women now that make more than men. So, although the man works and he still makes what he makes, that comes down to the half and half type thing. Mm, yeah. Which is where Paul agree. If that's an agreement that y'all have, if if the woman makes more, do does that man still have that authority? You feel me? Yeah, yeah, like yeah. And, 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 and at the same time, it should be, and it should like, hey, she right though. Like, cause real talk though, hey, you better make up for somewhere else. Cause real talk, cause hey, 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 at the same time, if some women that don't know how to cook, well, hey, she better be good at doing that. Some or some else, or goddamn. She better know how to sew the fuck out of some chills. Hey, like yeah. KC said. <laughs> she better learn how to some. Cause we ain't finna be eating out every day. Hey, oh, shit. I you, bro. you better, I'll show you how to grill or something. Look, like some mama or something. The, for all the women watching. I swear to break. Hold on, time out. Let me put a side note. Let me put a pin in this. For all the women watching, if you don't know how to cook that me and you together, we play both stars, cause I'm a, I first of all, I'm a, <laughs> first of all, I'm gonna need a stove for any type of stove that we tripping in. Plus one, yeah. two, all the eyes on the stove is right there, my eyes, so I'm gonna go blind. You feel? So we gonna have to learn something, cause there ain't no way I'm gonna be tripping. Every and every time, every right. time if I fry you chicken, you drop the chicken in the grease now. I gotta work. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna cook. And, look, with no shirt on, at I this point, I'm gonna throw everything in the easy bake. <laughs> that's the only way. And don't tell me I know how to air fry either. Everybody know how to air fry. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody know how to air fry. Yeah. Right. Stretch it inside the box. <laughs> Both of y'all eat number air because you're going air inside the air. And shit. Yeah. Yeah. You better hurt some up the children. Submit me. What is that card? Ain't no JP. Ain't no JP. Ain't no JP. Morgan said on the real one, you better be able to cook, clean, blow my back out daily. That sounds like a dream. So I'm going to look at this. Hey, get down, sir. Get down, sir. Press this nigga's shoulders off. Hey. <laughs> a little supper on the bed. <laughs> and, take, <laughs> and take care of them kids. Oh, a little supper. So, um, what else we got? Because we ain't here pretty much everything. Finances. Shit, I see. Sugar and grace, man. Chivalry oh, or grace. chivalry or grace? So we, grace. We, we looked up the situation where it's a double standard. Wait, hold on. Let's, before we go into chivalry and grace. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, I feel it in my Sprite. In your Sprite? In my Sprite. He said that. Okay. I feel it in my Sprite. Was it the lemon or lime side? It's the, it's the original. It's the original. Actually, it's the McDonald's Sprite. Oh, like hey, that's, hey. It's not a That, that, yeah. that, 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 that tastes like yak. Yeah. It tastes yeah. like yak. So I feel it in my Sprite. It brings up. <laughs> so when it comes down to um, st- double standard, you know in the world when people cheat or when certain people have um, a significant number of bodies, it's looked upon... Yeah, they're like 21 Savage. Uh, it looked upon... Men as dogs. Yeah. Huh? As dogs or hoes. Yeah. But to certain people, you looked upon as a player. Yeah. Yeah. Or a pimp. That man. Yeah. That nigga. Mm-hmm. Yeah. If a woman does it, mm-hmm. she's yes. looked upon mm-hmm. as a whore. <laughs> a very promiscuous woman. Woman. Jezebel. A Jezebel. <laughs> But is that fair because you have, yeah. because I hear so I never, many, I never got down with that shit. No, no, but I hear so many people say, you know, and there's so many excuses when you do get caught. I heard a man be like, well, baby, I was, I was fucking her and I ain't killed nothing about her, but you fucked him and now you in love with the nigga. So it's like, who's really... Which side is really wrong? Both, both of y'all are wrong. wrong cause both because in but my thing, thing, niggas, even like you said, niggas is hoes. Point blank period. You got oh, women hoes, said, niggas hoes. You said ho ho out there. Yeah. Ho ho out there. You a ho, you a ho. A ho is a ho. A ho is a ho is a ho. You feel me? Period. But I think in today's day and age, you got a little easier on women because you got all these different access to stuff. Sex now, only fans and no, you got everything else. You know what he calls freaks and hoes no more. No, no, no. You just got motherfuckers saying glow gorilla. In this day, of, boy, <laughs> in this day and age, you have so many women that have access to find out who the hell you cheating on yeah. them with. Yeah. Versus back in the day, back in the day, you only had damn pages and word of mouth. Mm-hmm. 
And if that nigga didn't go out like that, you would never know he was cheating unless he told on his damn self. Cheating not true, but women can pimp on us. Yeah, yeah, women, yeah. that's what a madam hey, is called. A madam back in the day, a madam back, a woman back in the day that was a pimp was called a madam. Like yes. that was that was that was a, that's her yeah. name. But well, it's like, sister. but that's well, no, I know it's sister because if she told you a damn dude, like yeah, that's, that's what it was. We know line. some madam was in charge of keeping the women together. Yeah, some yeah. was as in charge. So yeah, some of them was in charge. Like, between the bottom bitch and the madam. Yeah, yeah. 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 So, bottom bitch and the madam. But it's like, but. Back to what I originally said about the cheese. You mean the yellow page or back page? But is that is that is that wrong? Women are definitely the biggest players. They are. They are. Y'all, 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 y'all get away with it, how to do it, everything. Y'all know what y'all doing. You gotta trick out the truck when you back. Women are the biggest players. Yeah. Hey. You gotta trick that. So how y'all feel about having sex on per day? What? Man, I think you should she said, have she said take her out of the car. I think you should have sex whenever you won't have sex. How about that? Yes, sir? I'm gonna die the car. You gonna drive? No, 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 no. She can test drive. I mean, hold on. You the car. Oh, I'm a Kia. I'm a Kia Rio. You gonna say you the car? I'm a Kia Rio. Cause you know the, the person that said. But what? The person that said. You stupid. But no. I'm gonna tell you this. I'm gonna tell you this. Cause car size is, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> car size is you know what I'm saying? <laughs> he said come test drive. No, wait a come minute. Well, I didn't say car. nothing. I didn't. This Tesla. This Tesla. Yo. He said come test drive. Tesla. This smart car. Wait, hey, come hey, on, hey, 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 first, hey, hey, first, hey, first of all, 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 first of
Well, but you said out. they tried to get pregnant on their first try. Uh, I didn't mean to say that. Okay. Okay. They got pregnant on their first time having sex. You know, Karan be talking like a fast-forward video. Okay? Did they pull out? Got anthrax out. What the fuck? Who got anthrax? What? In 2023. The day pool got anthrax. I know, right? Damn, that's a little morbid. Anthrax. Dude, gonna light up the mood. <laughs> light up the mood, dude. <laughs> You know what? We ain't even got to go into whatever the last, what was it, going Dutch or, uh, uh, yeah, yeah, we already talked about yeah. it. We really ain't got to talk about that. So does body count count you? Does body count Doesn't count? Doesn't matter, sir. I will say it's really none of my, mm, Would you date a porn star? Yeah, that's no. body count. That's but body what if count. you really, what if that's your soulmate? Real talk. But if that's just, You so, know that's going to be some good. Okay, so, no. Because <laughs> if you, that's, if you throw, if, she is a porn star, mm -hmm. and that's basically you throwing your hot dog in the in the hallway. <laughs> yeah, but they got technology now. Maybe. To do what? To re to refurbish the the, hey, mm -hmm. the like hallway. What Mike F said. But they finna good in there. They snap <laughs> that pussy back. back. <laughs> I hate y'all. I don't this think I don't think it matter. I know, especially on my end, because I know I've done a lot with a lot of women, and so, so if you judge me, if you judge me on that, it is what it is. I'm moving on. But I'm fine. I'm fine. Somebody. Yeah. Corey said. Corey said. He's. Uh, he used to be. He's a born again. Uh, born again. Born again. Y'all. You know. I see you. Man. So we will. We will say this because we see everybody's clapping out off the live. Um. This has been another wonderful episode of BMT Black Men Talk. We appreciate everybody that tuned in. For all the entrepreneurs that are in the comments that have tuned in. Always remember to drop your businesses in the comment section. Like, share, and please just tell people about us. Um, we might have to miss a week, but y'all stay tuned because we will be back. The next one will be bye. Ladies, yeah. ladies, 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 all get ready. ladies, Paula, ladies, 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 ready. Yeah. Paula, Shamika, uh, Tamika, uh, Kim, all of y'all that come in tonight, we need to reach out to y'all. So we can do the uh, men's point of view and the women's point of view. Mm -hmm. It can be black men talk versus black women talk. Whatever, what happens. Whatever, however y'all want to do it. And we really want to involve y'all and just dig into the minds of a woman's point of view as well. No, why would My mama I just jumped in. I didn't hey, know she was on I want to say this too. Y'all hey, hey, y'all check out y'all check out A to Z show. You know what I'm saying? New stuff, new stuff dropping every week. You know what I'm saying? Check that out. And we will be back, man. So like I said, we we, love, we appreciate the love, y'all. My name is LP. This is KC. Jose Dunn, baby. Jose Dunn down there. Don't follow Town TV. Yeah, please follow our uh, network, Tyler Town TV. Follow the A to Z show with my boy Jose Dunn and Eric, Easy E. And also us as well. We yes, they are everybody. It's yeah. fun. Go ahead and check that link through for us, please. Come on up you feel me? And we ain't gonna talk about dude as much next, next episode. Yeah, so uh Oh let's follow on. <laughs> oh yeah, we're talking sure about dude all night. Make make sure you feel this fun. Make sure y'all follow Concept Five. Make sure y'all follow Shamika and Kimberly's uh network and it comes on Thursday. Y'all follow shout out only one, shout out uh Rare League, you feel me? Momo, AJ, Bobby. Yeah. That comes on Thursday. Who said? Oh, I don't know. That's all me. That's all me. And then she said, you're showing the block. And Jazz, yeah. My I love you, Paula, because I don't never talk about it. Keep that nigga on point. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Paula. Thank you. Keep me in check. Make sure y'all tune in to me every Sunday on 105 on the block for LP. Call up on the radio station and say, Duke. See what that nigga do. Jazz. Duke can hang up. Click, Duke. Yeah, Jazz has her own. Business and she designs shirts, so y'all make sure y'all holler at her as well. And uh, what we you got made Southern Cafe? Yes, yes, you better, you better support. Hey, they special Sundays, I hey, they good as mug too, bro. Yeah, ain't gonna lie, they good. Oh. You better yes. promote your one, yes, bro. Amazing, jumping. You better promote your one, man. We are out, man. We love y'all. Make sure y'all share this and let people know to tune in and stay tuned. So we'll let y'all know when the next episode is. Peace, love, good night, man. Mm-hmm.